الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear sweet students, let's recite درود and salam upon the beloved and blessed prophet صلى الله تعالى عليه وعليه وسلم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Excellence of reciting درود and salam upon the beloved and blessed prophet صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم When a believing Muslim who recites 1000 salutations upon the beloved and blessed prophet صلى الله تعالى عليه وآله وسلم He will not die until he sees his place His maqam in paradise The shortest درود پاك is صلى الله على محمد Recite it with the intention of conveying it to Rasul of Allah Once you have completed 1000 salutations Then make a supplication in the court of Allah Azza wa Jal. And inshallah you'll see if they are your jais, you know, uh, permissible du'as, Allah Azza wa Jal, for the sake of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam will accept your supplications. Inshallah Azza wa Jal. Sallu ala al-habib. La Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. My dear students, inshallah, as well as the people of social media will be educating you at the same time. Alhamdulillah, a beautiful topic today we brought in the form of a test as well. And this is our Sheikh Amir Ahl Sunnat, Damat Barakat Mu'aliya. Maybe you've seen them on Madani channel, on the Madani Muzakra every week on Saturday, which we have at 6.15 p.m. They have advised us, they have given us a structure to follow, which is called the 12 Madni Kaam, the 12 Madni activities of Dawati Islami. Insha'Allah, I'll be going through daily activities with you, weekly activities with you, and monthly activities. There's about in total 12 activities that we should be doing, insha'Allah, for our success. Okay? So, I'm going to write on the board the activities in order. And then I'm going to give you an explanation of these activities. What are these activities? And maybe we can hear from yourselves what you think this activity involves. Okay? So, inshallah, we also make the intention that as we are learning these activities as well, we're going to implement these in our life. Okay? This is why Dawud Islami is successful all around the world because of this 12 Madani Kaam as well. Yeah? And the structure system as well of Dawati Islami. So this is why it's very important that we follow these rules because obviously your parents have sent you here for a reason. Yeah? Because this organization is very successful. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. And we want everybody to be successful. But shaitan, the devil will stop you from performing these activities. Yeah? So if you can follow these activities, our environment in Halifax will become a better environment. Muslims will become obedient to Allah. Yeah, if they start abiding by these activities, they will come closer to the deen of Islam as well. Okay? Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Making up for Fajr is daily because you get out of bed every day to read the mosque. Okay, you're getting out of Fajr, no problem. Who's going to be waking up your family or 
Your friends, your relatives, how would you wake them up? Um, by messaging them or telling them to get up. The first point, one of the students said waking up for Fajr. First of all, you need to wake yourself up for Fajr, yes, which he said. And then obviously, uh, we need to wake our families up for Fajr as well. Who in this, in this classroom wakes their family up for Fajr? Okay, mashallah, one student who wakes his family up for Fajr. Go ahead. Um, I wake my brother up for Fajr, uh, then we read together. MashaAllah. And this is at home, yeah? Yeah, at home. So make the intention, come to the masjid as well if you can. Okay. Okay. So MashaAllah, like one student in this class, wakes his brother up for Fajr. Now we should be waking up other family members in the household as well. And it doesn't mean, you know, if the masjid is very close to you, then you should come to the masjid. That's the whole point of waking up for Fajr. That in the morning, have you noticed many masajids at the time of Fajr, there's only three people, four people, maybe one line. And look at in Jum'ah, the whole be full, isn't it? Where have the, all the namazis gone? Either they doozed off, they're sleeping. Yeah, but who's going to wake them up? It's our responsibility, isn't it? So we have to wake them up for Fajr and we have to invite them to the masjid. Okay, at that time, I know it's hard. It's cold to get up out of your warm beds. You need to make wudu, don't you? And it's a struggle, yes. But the reward is huge at the time of Fajr. Yeah? So that's one point we've covered. Waking up for Fajr. Now, like you said, you can send a text message. You can ask permission from that individual. Look, I want to wake you up for Fajr. Can I call you? You know, or we can, you know, meet up at some point at the masjid. Give him a time. Our five jamaat, you come as well. So I want all the students to make intention to do this task, okay? Next task is Tafsir of Qur'an. Yeah? We do the three ayahs of the Tafsir of Qur'an here in Fazani Medina after Salat al-Fajr. Yeah? How else are we going to know about the Qur'an? Do we at home open the Qur'an with, you know, and start reading the translation? I think it's difficult, isn't it? But when you've got a mahal in the masjid, that three ayahs of the Qur'an is recited with translation and tafsir, then inshallah you will get to know the ahkamat of the Qur'an. What is Allah commanding you to do? Yeah? So, everybody clear with the second point? Yeah? And if, if the masjid is far from you, you know, you can do these tafsir at home with your family. You know, sit with your family, get a Kanzal Iman Sharif, quran i kareem yeah, Nur al-Irfan, yeah, these translations, and you can do the translation of the Quran with your family. Okay. The next point, inshallah, dars. Okay. Dars is uh, it's like a speech. You know, even you can get a small booklet in Salah from the Maktab. You can get Fazanim uh, Sunnat, yeah, which is a very popular book. And inshallah, with that book, you can give dars of seven minutes to your family. Right? So it says, Masjid dars. Now, Masjid dars is already taking place if you come to the Masjid. And if there's any other masajids anywhere else, and if you're English and you've, you've traveled on the Madani Kafila, and you've gained that experience of giving dars, then you can give dars in other masajids as well. Yeah? Okay? Or you can give them dars here in the classroom. So it doesn't specifically say just Masjid. It says area. You can give your, your dars in the park. You can give it into a shop. Right? You can give it while you're playing football. You can stop the, the game. You know, let's have a, a little story time. And you know, as you, you're enjoying your game as well, you should educate yourself, uh, learning religious knowledge while, you know, uh, making a part of your life. So a balance. Yeah? I know we go too much into the enjoyment side of things and then we come far away from our deen. Yeah, but it shouldn't be like this. Our first priority should be our deen, then the worldly aspect. Yeah, like the scholars say, yeah, the awliya Allah say that the, the deen should be in our heart and the dunya should be in our hands. Yeah, but we've got it the other way around. The dunya is in our heart and we've got the deen in our hands. Yeah, so this is why it's important that we give dars as well because we're getting some negative. 
uh, influences from social media. We're too involved in a lot of things, but I don't think we're even going to get the time to give dars, but we have to make that time. And this is one of the madri tasks. If you want your children in future, when you grow up, right, to be pious, to be respectful towards you, then the dars is going to change them. Otherwise, this influence of bad things around them, the games, the violent games that you play, the, the violent games that you play, on, play online, like Roblox and etc., killing people, all these violent things and bad character you gain from these images. Yeah? So it's important that we open up a book and we learn something from the book. Okay? Next point, the weekly, is Madrasatul Madina. Who can tell me what Madrasatul Madina is? Anyone know? Okay. Ahmed, what do you think it is? Um, um, uh, uh, I think it is when you learn the, the Quran uh, and, and do many uh, um, things um, with the time limit and um, like such as Kaido, Fik, Nazra and Hibs. Okay. Ahmed gives, he gave a, a good answer. So it's basically learning Tajweed, correcting your Salah, you know, recitation of Surah Al-Fatiha, the basic, uh, every Islamic brother and sister that should be learning is the correct pronunciation of letters. Now, Madrasatul Madina is for young children, right? So the reason why I put Madrasatul Madina, so you understand as well. And then we've got Baligan, okay? Baligan, which is for adults. And we have these in the evening classes here. So Baligan is for adults. And anyone over the age of 18, he's an adult. Okay? So he will in, be in the Baligan class. Right? Anyone who's less than 18, he'll either be doing hifas, he'll be doing fiqh, uh, weekend school, etc. Yeah? Because he's still in his teens. Okay? <clears throat> so that's the Baligan, Madrasatul Baligan, learning Tajweed, which is the fourth point. So we've covered four points. And the last point is individual effort. Okay, now let's do this uh, practically. What individual effort, you know, what we can learn from this. Individual effort is one-to-one -one talking to someone, yeah, with your full body language, you know, try to inviting him towards the masjid, reminding him about the akhirah, okay? Like we have the uh, call to righteousness uh, script, we are the humble people of Allah, Azza wa Jal, yeah? and the servants, and the followers of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No, no doubt, life is very, very short. Second by second, we are moving closer and closer to our death. Soon, we'll be lowered into our dark, lonely grave. To stand the chance of forgiveness, we must follow the commands of Allah and also follow the sunnah of the beloved Rasul Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Okay? So, I've gave you uh, individual effort. I'm inviting you to come to the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtimas, which take place every Thursday at 8 p.m. here in Fazani Medina. I also request you to watch the weekly Madri Muzakara at 6.15 every Saturday. Here in Fazani Medina, we have a, a congregation viewing uh, where we watch Madini Muzakra on the television and we learn religious knowledge from our Sheikh Amir Ahl Sunnat Damad Barakat Mu'aliya. Yeah? And then I'd like to request Islamic brothers to fill in your pious deed booklet, the Naik Amal app, which is available in the App Store. Do yourself accountability. Yeah? And then last and final, I'm inviting you to Madini Kafila for three days. Now there'll be a, a Madini Kafila traveling this month. On the 13th, uh, sorry, 12th, 13th, and 14th. So try to prepare yourself to come to Madini Kafila. So this is individual effort. I've given you individual effort by mentioning four things to you. Okay. So this is why it's very important that we uh, do individual effort. We invite others to come closer to the deen of Islam. And the way you're going to do it is to give this individual effort. Who can do this individual effort? Can I have some volunteers? I mean, it doesn't have to be how I've done it. But just to give you that feeling 
that how we should greet, how, sh how we should ask about well-being, yeah? Ask about their family members, are they, uh, are they okay? Yeah? And then ask for their time. Do you have any time to speak for a few moments? He might be busy. He might be in a hurry. Yeah? And look, I need to get to work. Yeah? Well, you know, then you can give him a gift and give him a card or give him your number. Look, can I exchange numbers with you quickly? And then maybe at a later point when he's available, then you do that individual effort with him. Take care. And same after the Ijtima of Dawud Islami. You know, when we have big gatherings, we'll approach them, we'll hug them, and we'll do this individual effort to them. Okay? Let's see an example. See how warm welcome uh, some of the students. Because uh, we're learning. And we want to do this. And this is the whole purpose. I'm doing this with you. So you learn. And you become practical at this. Okay? And these are the five dailies I've mentioned to you. Five daily activities. Then we're going to move on to weekly activities, inshallah. Okay? After you have performed your example, inshallah. Are you doing good? Yes, alhamdulillah. You want to come to the masjid and pray? Yes, inshallah. You want to come? As-salamu alaykum. How are you okay? Yeah. How are your parents okay? Yeah. How is your mom and dad? Right. Yeah. How about you? Okay. My mom and dad okay. Yeah. Good office. Hmm? No, no, please. As-salamu alaykum. Wa alaykum as How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am good. How is your family? Good. How is oh. your family? Awesome. <laughs> Would you like to go to Fajr Namaz with me? Yes. I Could I get your phone number so that I can ring you when it's time to wake up? Yes. Okay. Do, 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 do. Kadafish. Look, you know how to do individual effort. Yeah, it's not hard. Yeah, you just know, need to know what to say. You know, you asked him about his well-being, right? You took his number, mashallah. You said, look, when the time of Fajr comes, I'll give you a call. Yes, and look, we should be doing this with every Muslim, okay? We should be reminders for each other. Because the devil, he has a big army outside, right? And he's got his uh, workers working on each and individual upon you, right? He's doing his best, right, to distract you, whether distract you from your nafs, whether from people who don't pray, who are totally off the track, when you hang about with them kind of individual people, right, because they're not reminding you of salah. If you had a good company, the people who pray, the people who open Quran, they will also make you come to the masjid as well. So choose your company right, okay? So nafs, obviously, shaitan whispers to your nafs, doesn't he? He gives you them negative whispers. Yeah, and then we've got the world as well. The world is distracting us. Whether we've got a PlayStation, whether we've got a fancy car out there, yeah, could be a latest car that you got a Ferrari, Lamborghini, right? And I know how you children, you withdraw yourself to, uh, to vehicles. Now, there's a guy I met, and uh, it was very funny. And he says, Look, uh, what will we get in paradise? Can we get anything? Uh, and I said, Yes, why not? He goes, I want a Ferrari in paradise. Right? <laughs> this is what he said, I want a Ferrari in paradise. So maybe he watched this video and then uh, he recall. But he was saying as a joke, right? But we should have joked around. You know, paradise, we can't explain with letters and sound. You can live there forever. And the only way you can achieve paradise is by praying, by reading Quran, by preparing for it. You don't get it for free. Now, if you were to go to a workplace and you started working, and you start sitting on a chair and swinging yourself around the chair, I'm not doing any work. Do you think you're going to get paid for it? No. no. So this is why it's important that, you know, whenever you go work, you do your work 100%. Okay? And same again, when people come for Salah, yeah? They're on turbo mode. Yeah? Fifth gear. Finish and gone. Right? They don't even perform the Salah correctly. Right? And they, you know, they, they do all, all this hard work of doing wuzu, washing themselves, coming to the masjid, and then they waste their salah. Either they wear trousers, and the back gets revealed, because your sitri orat is from your navel to your knee. Yeah? And it has to be covered. So, you know, silly mistakes that we are making, and it's bad habits we've got. Because of these bad habits, right, 
we are failing. You know, we are not doing things properly. Okay. So moving on to the weekly now, inshallah, the weekly points. And please don't write your numbers in here. I have seen some of students writing the numbers. This is going to be a test. Okay. So the next one is weekly ijtima, the weekly gathering. Who's been to the weekly gathering, guys? And who can tell me about the weekly gathering? What, what do you learn from there? Um, um, uh, a weekly gathering, um, uh, it's like a uh, ishtima, um, uh, and you um, uh, can you learn some um, uh, um, favorite notes of the uh, prophets and most important um, uh, um, bayan and there's um, uh, the and the can you do a, a special dua um, to make um, he, he, your, your family members um, better and give them um, a good um, life and then um, then we do um, um, uh, there's a salam when uh, we when we remember the the prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam and then and then um, then we uh, we uh, do a quick small dua and then um, we um, um, uh, read each one was um, uh, uh, if you want to stay down there um, make a home, home. Ahmed tried to in detail mention the activities that happen in the weekly gathering now for some of the students mashallah you're not attending and we should attend every week on Thursday at 8 p.m. and this happens globally happens all over the world yeah Dawud Islami organizes weekly ijtima it charges your battery. We have like beautiful speeches. We have reminders. We have zikr, kalbi zikr, alhamdulillah, a heart trembling dua. Yeah, we have salatu salam, etc. So, this is a good way of engaging, socializing, meeting new people. Yeah, like you've just done individual effort as well, mashallah. You know, and you'll meet new people. I used to take, take someone to Bradford, you know. Zani Attar, there used to be a ijtima there. A guy, uh, you, know, a, you know, a new guy, firstly introduced to Dawud Islami, he went down. And mashallah, do you know what he loved about the weekly ijtima? Because at the end, when brothers meet, when they hug you, that's the most amazing thing ever has happened to me. Yeah? He loved it so much, and he wanted to go just because of that. Because he was, you know, being, you know, uh, welcomed, and uh, he, you know, he enjoyed the zikr part of things as well. Yeah, and you know, most of the Bazurgs, you know, there's a person, uh, I remember him, he was uh, Uncle Hafiz, he was called. Uh, he's passed away now. And he used to come to the Ishtamas just for the Zikr. He used to love it so much. Even though he didn't understand English that much, but he came just because of that. Because he goes, this week, you know, the Zikr charges me up. It cleans my heart. I feel that sukoon, that peace. Yeah, so if you're feeling down, you're feeling depressed, yeah, you know, this is the best place to be every week. So come. People have got different problems. They're on alcohol. They're drug addicts. They're doing all these bad things. This ijtima will cleanse you. And that's the whole purpose of it. To bring you closer to Islam. To charge that battery. Yeah, that we have. Okay. Okay, the next point I'm going to quickly discuss. The Madri Muzakra. Yeah, the Madri Muzakra. I'm going to show you, inshallah, uh, you know, you can download the app on your phone. Yeah. It's called Madani Muzakra app. You can go on YouTube. You can put live Madani Muzakra or you can put live Madani channel. Okay. You'll get a live link and you can watch it. And this is every Saturdays. He and Fazani Madina, we do a live broadcast where everybody is sitting. We actually put a camera on you. You go on Madani channel as well. How amazing that is. And Amir Ahl Sunnat, Wali Kamil, with his gaze, he looks at you. Yeah? Because he has a screen there as well. And you know, the title comes from the bottom Halifax, Birmingham, Bradford. Yeah? Titles come at the bottom, and people are watching Madani Muzakra all over the world. Spain, different part of, parts of the world. Yeah? yeah? So, this is why, uh, let me show you what Madani channel is. I'm going to show you on the television that we got here. Yeah? Because we put it on every week on Saturdays around about 6.15 depending on time change. Okay. So it's a monthly request that you watch it. Okay. And if you can't watch 
مدنی مذاکرہ you don't you don't understand it as much then i recommend you to watch madani cartoons dawood islam is making madani cartoons as well yeah and you can watch that yeah and uh, it's beautiful you know uh was a glam rasul bablu bhai yeah you know and uh, it's amazing do watch it okay let me quickly show you you will see at the logo at the top corner and sky 746 as well Okay, you can watch Madani cartoons as well, guys. This is available in English as well. I've given you a, a feel of how you can tune into Madani channel. How you can watch Madani kids as well. So do tune into uh, these channels as well. Um, very quickly, I'm just going to go quick because we've got less time now. A uh, weekly itikaf, yeah. and then uh, booklet reading as well listening uh, brothers do send the links amir ahle sunnah does a special dua whoever this week reads this booklet to give you that encouragement that we should become readers okay uh, there's many irsales that can be downloaded from www.daudislami.net if you go into the the booklet section you can download different books and read them books yeah and this will educate you this will give you islamic knowledge yeah it'll give you good manners right it'll give you uh, beautiful madani pearls of the sunnah of the beloved rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam many different topics on there so booklet reading is another weekly thing that you should be doing okay area visit alaqai daura barane ki ki daawat this is going out door to door knocking on people's doors and inviting them for salah inviting them to the weekly sunnah inspiring ijtimaas of daawat islami theek hai So this is very important that we need to do weekly as well. So you can select uh, any time of the week, right? You come to Fazan Madina. Brothers will go together as a group, right? And by respect and honor, they knock on the door. They'll ask for a meal. Is there any, uh, in any of your brother, your husband there that we can speak to? And then you'll give your individual effort that you did as an example. Okay? You remind him about the Akhirah. You'll invite him to the weekly Sunnah inspiring Ishtima. You'll tell him about Fajr. you know try to come to the masjid and try to pray your salah okay the last important the backbones of daawat e islami yeah one is pious deed booklets make a mal up yeah which i mentioned previously and this is available on the app store as well i recommend you download it and you go through it yeah so it basically asks you questions did you perform your five daily salahs with jamaat yeah did you um, recite ayatul kursi Did you do tasbih Fatima? Did you recite 313 times through the park? You either clicking yes or no, yes or no. Okay. Did you do Taayat al Masjid, Taayat al Wudu, Ishraq, Chash, Our Bin? These are the Nafli Ibadat that we did in the previous sessions. We did. We learn about Our Bin, didn't we? Yeah. We learn about uh, Ishraq and Chash. These are Nafli Ibadat that one attains a huge reward from. Okay. So pious deeds is very important. This is going to make you close to Allah's mercy. right people have become wali allah by by following the pious deeds yeah there was a person who was traveling in the in the train where i heard one of the uh, brothers mention this waqia and he said to uh, this individual what has your sheikh given you and he took it out his little booklet the pious deed booklet right i don't have any with me at the moment but if you go to the maktab you can buy them for 25p right and you just take it off right some of you mashallah the students are filling them in So he looked at this booklet. He went all through the questions because your Sheikh wants you to become a wali. He wants you to become a friend of Almighty Allah. Yeah, he was shocked. He goes, "It's an amazing book, right?" So every student, you should encourage your parents to do this as well. Get some time out. Spend five minutes. You can get reminders on the app as well, and it remind you each time every day. You know, it's time to fill in your application, right? And just you know, just feel that your Sheikh. Kim la mira ahli sunnat damat barakat mu aliyah is asking you these questions. Yeah, he's in front of you. It's like sometimes your father says, "Have you prayed your salah?" Dad, no, I haven't. But Dad obviously will shout at you. Why didn't you pray your salah? But the book won't shout at you. But the book is giving you that encouragement. Did he do it? Yes or no? Yeah. So you're just reminding. It's just self accountability. Okay. And the madri kafila for three days, which I mentioned in our individual effort, 
travel for three days every month. You are dedicating that special time in learning, in religious knowledge. Right? You're going to Lakai Dorai, inviting people to come into Masjid when you go to different places. Right? Sometimes they say like our local Islam brothers, our advice doesn't affect them. But when a new Islam brother comes from outside, what happens? You know, where's this brother come from? You know, you might just be the key to his heart. You know, Allah might change him. Yeah, because of your individual effort. And then he'll come into the masjid. Yeah? So that's why the whole purpose, we travel every three, every month. And we go into the Madani Kafla just to learn religious knowledge. And Alhamdulillah, it's an amazing experience. Some people don't even want to come back. They cry there, you know, because they spend the, you know, the three days fully. They pray the five daily salahs with the front row in Jamaat. They're always there in the masjid. They're sleeping in the masjid as well. You know, sometimes you have these... Uh, uh, outing with the school, don't you? Three day residential. What do you do there? Canoeing, what? Going into the jungle, yeah, doing surviving skills. Yeah, I'm not saying that's wrong, but we should give something to our deen as well. Okay? Yeah? Sallu ala al Habib, sallallahu ta'ala, ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now I'm going to rub all this off. You've seen it. You've seen all the points. So what I'd like you to do is now. I've got this. I want you to fill this in now. Okay? So you got five minutes to fill all this in, okay? If you can do it. Come on, start filling it in. So, as you're filling in, number one was waking up for Fajr, right? One. Tafsir Quran. That's number two. Okay. Then we got dars. Three. Yeah. Madrasatul Madina Baligan for brothers. Four. Yeah. Individual effort. Which is five. And these are daily. Okay. Daily. Okay, now we got weekly ijtima, which are weekly. So six, yeah, Madini Muzakara, seven, right, and weekly itikaf, eight, and reading booklet, which is nine, and then area visit which is 10 okay so weekly weekly and the last two which is the pious deeds 11 and then madri kafila which is 12 